Hamish Fulton was born in 1946 in London, where he later attended several art schools. He is considered a conceptual and land artist, although he prefers to be described as a walking artist, which means that he only makes works based on the experience of walks. Fulton follows a leave-no-trace ethic and does not collect materials on his walks for display in galleries, nor does he create sculptural interventions in the nature he traverses. Rather, he translates his walks into a variety of media, including photography, illustrations and text-based descriptions to communicate his walks. His work is contained in major museum collections such as the MoMA and Tate Britain, in which he had an exhibition in 2002. Hamish Fulton started using the book medium early in his career, with his first artist book, Hollow Lane, being published in 1971 by Situation Publications. Many books later, in 1990, he created this, Alps Horizon, for the Musée de Grenoble. This beautiful Leporello, in an edition of only 200 signed copies, is housed in a black cloth cover. The four-page Leporello illustrates a walk in the Alps during a 20-day coast-to-coast walking journey across the France Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea of 1989. It shows the mountain skyline in one smooth articulated line stretched over the four oblong pages. Fulton created several accordion folds. Another beautiful example is, without any doubt, the one he made for Art Metropole in Toronto, edited by A. A. Bronson and printed by Lecturis in the Netherlands. It is called Ayaban and shows a panoramic picture of Lake Ayaban in Canada over which columns of red and white colored words are printed. This work documents an eight-day wandering walk in central Saskatchewan. The words used are four-letter words of natural phenomena, sounds, animals and walking experiences ordered in vertical columns. Its edition size is 750 copies. Another nice example of his artist books is Twilight Horizons, published by CAPC Bordeaux and printed by Coracle Press in 1983. As usual in a Coracle Press production, the printing of delicate text and figures in black and red ink on creamy white thick paper is superb. Although only Fulton experiences the walks he makes himself, the texts and illustrations he presents in his books allow us to engage with his experience. In 1994, he started experimenting with group walks. The edition size of this small softcover publication is unknown. I'll close by showing one last example of Fulton's artist books and a well-kept secret. It documents a walk beside the river Vechte, meandering the Dutch and German landscape. The book is stitch-bound with a cloth-bound cover in black linen. The oblong design fits very well with its interior that consists of photographs or text pages taken or designed by Fulton. The photographs are on glossy paper and contain text phrases in English and German. Text compositions are printed on creamy paper and make a delicate contrast with the photographs. The book is published with so much eye for detail. The circles on the inside paper of the cover, for example, match with the inside flaps of the dust jacket. I'm preparing some clips on Andy Warhol and Ai Weiwei for the moment. Hope you will find some time to visit them in the near future.